In our 15.1 release, the pivot grid control supports format conditions used to apply conditional formatting to data cells. In this video, I'll show you how to implement this feature. In this sample project, the pivot grid control is bound to the salesperson view. First, let's make sure that the name property is set for every field so that conditional formatting works properly. You can set conditional formatting in different ways, using the conditional formatting rules manager, the format condition collection editor, or the conditional formatting context menu, or set rules in XAML or code. Let's create a rule using the conditional formatting rules manager. Select the pivot grid control, click the smart tag, and invoke the conditional formatting rules manager. Then click the new rule button, select the three color scale condition, and define the format options. In this condition, the measure is the extended price field and colors vary from red to yellow and green. Click the OK button and specify the row and column fields. I set the row field as salesperson and the column field as quarter. Click OK. And you can see that the format condition collection was created and the color scale format rule was added to it. Let's run the application to see the result. The extended price data cells are painted with colors depending on their values. Let's create one more rule using the format condition collection editor. Go to the properties window and click the format condition collection ellipsis button. In the opened editor, you can select one of the five rule types. I selected the data bar condition and clicked the add button. I want to apply this condition to the intersection of salesperson and quarter fields. So I enabled the apply to specific level checkbox and set the column and row fields. The measure is the quantity field. There are two ways to format data cells by selecting one of the predefined formats or creating and specifying a new one. I selected the predefined light blue gradient data bar and clicked OK. The data bar format rule was added to the collection as well. And let's run the application again. You can see that the quantity data cells are painted with a light blue color. The data bar length depends on a data cell value. If you want to allow your end users to use the format rules at runtime, set the allow conditional formatting menu property to true. And let's see how it works. For example, right click the 1996 total extended price cells and format cells whose values are above average with green fill and dark green text. Or, right click the 1996 total quantity cells and highlight cells whose values are less than 1000 with red fill and dark red text. To delete a rule, right click data cells and select one of the clear rules commands. You can manage a format condition collection at runtime by using the manager. Right click the data cells and select the manage rules item. Here you can create, sort, modify, or delete conditional formatting rules. To create a new condition, click the New Rule button, select a rule type, and specify it. I selected the Icon Sets format and applied it to the intersection of the salesperson and quarter fields. And you can see that data cells are now ranked with arrows. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.